In this video, we will review how to build an exponential function in the form y equals ab to the x power when the rate is given to us as a percent. Before we start, let's make sure that we know what are exponential functions and what do they represent. To start, we need to know that there are two types of functions, of exponential functions, growth and decay. Exponential growth is represented by graphs that start with small increments, but each time the increments become bigger and bigger. Examples of that could be bacterial growth, when we at the beginning have very small increments and then they become larger, and population growth, when again we see small increments at the beginning and then they become larger. Exponential decay is represented by a graph that starts with big decreases, but each time the decreases become smaller and smaller. Example of this could be a car's price depreciation, where we start with very big decreases, and then the, dec the decreases become smaller and smaller. Same we see in the decay of materials, for example, carbon decay. We start with very large decreases, and then they become smaller and smaller. To write an exponential growth equation, given a percent of growth, we're going to have to use the equation y equals a, parentheses, 1 plus r, to the x power. In this case, what we need to know is that a represents the initial value or starting point of your problem, where r represents your growth rate as a percent. To give you an example, we have this problem right here. Stuart opened a savings account with $5,000. The bank offers an interest growth of 5% monthly. Write an equation that will describe the total amount of money in the account every month. To start, how do we know that this is an exponential growth? Well. We know it because we know that this is growth, is growing, and you were giving the growth rate as a percent. Again, we're talking about growth and the rate is a percent. That tells me that this is going to be exponential growth, and this will be the equation that I will use. In this problem, the value A is represented by the initial amount that there's in the account, $5,000, and R, which is our rate, it's 5%, but we will change it to the decimal value. So with that, I have my A value, my IR value, that is enough for me to write my equation. Y equals 5,000, parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.05 to the X power. In the case of exponential decay, we have a different equation. The equation is this, y equals a, parentheses, 1 minus r, everything to the x. Now, in this case, the only difference is instead of a plus, we have a minus. a will be still my initial value. And my decay rate, in this case decay, will still be represented by a percent and the r value. So, to start an example, we have this problem right here. Linda bought a new car last month. She found out that her car has a depreciation rate of 10% annually. Linda paid for her car $25,000. Write an equation that will describe the value of Linda's car every year. So to start, how do I know that this is exponential decay? Well, this is depreciating. This is diminishing, decreasing. And the rate, again, is given to you as a percent. That's how you know. So we will still use the equation that we looked at before with a minus instead of a plus because this is decay. My A value in this case will be $25,000 represented the amount that Linda paid for the car or the initial value of the car. R is represented by 10%, the decay rate, but we will change it as a decimal, 0.10. Once that I have my A value and my R value, this is enough for me to write my equation. In this case, 
y equals 25,000 times 1 minus 0 0.10 to the x value. I really hope that you found this helpful. Thank you very much.